puppets in the room. There are puppets in. I shouldn't. I said many. They, I meant they're, 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 they're not many. They're large. They're, they are, and they're really, really cool. And we're going to show them to you soon. But good morning, Cincinnati. I'm Bob Herzog, and I'm Jen Dalton. Thank you for joining us on Arc Cincinnati, Bob. It is important to remember, fish are our friends, not food. So true, Jen Dalton. So true. Coming up, one of our friends from the Children's Theater of Cincinnati gives us an up close and personal look at some of the characters from Disney's Finding Nemo Jr. Oh my gosh, you're going to love it. Also, do you have fond memories of your senior prom or any kind of memories? Perhaps from not so fond. Perhaps not so fond. Perhaps things that maybe went wrong. Uh huh. Or, uh -huh. You know, that kind of thing. Well, yeah. I, so, some of those stories. Local 12's Andy Brown will take a look back at proms of the past and how current high schoolers can save a little money this prom season. So expensive. It can be. Uh, but first, a look at what's brewing in the tri state. I just our, Art. Fa our fancy graphics. Every, every time oh, one of those little music great. beds hits, I'm like, yep, feel that? All in my But you can't all hear it in the studio, so the people standing around are going, what are they dancing to? Yeah, they don't know. Anyway, okay, so you may have heard, Jason Kelsey left Cincinnati with an unexpected keepsake, without rather, and that was his Super Bowl ring. Yeah. Yeah, it so got lost. It all goes down during the New Heights live show in Cincinnati. One of the Lum Baby games required UC students, and you see it right here. They, they had to search for Jason's Philadelphia Eagles Super Bowl ring in a kiddie pool or two or three filled with Skyline Chili. The contest started sort of a joke, because apparently Jason loses his Super Bowl ring all the time. But what? But now it's really gone. Jason says he had an intern search the chili pool with a shovel and a metal detector. But the hunt, alas, turned up nothing. Travis called his brother an imbecile on the podcast. By the way, he did use a particular he adjective. Did. We're not going to say that It starts on TV. with the letter F. It's a, it's, you can use the word in a lot of different ways. Anyway, imbecile. Yes. And, he called it, apparently, Jason said, no big deal, it's a hunk of junk, they'll replace it, right? I don't know, can you do that? Can you just call up the NFL and be like, I lost my Super Bowl ring? I, can I get maybe another Maybe he one? has to pay for it himself. Well, I, which do you, you know probably what I mean? can do, I but still, can, can you just like... I don't know. What if you're an intern for them, and you're not from the Cincinnati area, and you're like, hey, intern, you see that vat of... Of that? I'm going to need you to dig around in there. You and I, just, I both had internships. I never had to do anything quite no, like that. No, no, uh, not like that. But I don't understand why you would like put the actual put ring the in there. Actual ring yeah. in, in that. I think that was actually part of the game. Was they had some some fake ones? counterfeit rings in yeah. there, and you had to find the real one. But still, that you were willing to put your actual Super Bowl ring into. And was, that's that's part of the reason why we love. The Kelsey brothers, they're, they're, they're willing and to go Jason, all in. Jason, Jason he just, yeah. he's just he's living fine. his best life, I that hope, dude. I hope everybody's saying, you know, of course, it's probably in Rumkey right now. Right. But I hope that somebody's walking around yeah. that gym floor one day or around UC and, and like something shiny pops out and they're like, oh, my gosh, it fell out. There it is. It's the ring. What if what if hypothetically you're one of the students and you're a forward thinker? Yeah. OK. And you find it. What do you do? Instead of put what? it in your pocket. Bob Herzog, you should get that I'm right back. I'm not saying it's the right thing to do. I'm just saying it's a thing that could be done. I would 100% get it back to them. Of course you would. As long as I got to meet them. Yep. That's a requirement. <laughs> so, so I was going to hold it hostage you know, like for ransom money, and you just no, wanted to meet them. I don't want money. I just want to meet them. You just want to meet them. Okay. Well, yeah. Either way. Yeah. But you're all better than we are, so it'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay. On the eve of her latest release, the University of Cincinnati has announced that it will now be offering two Taylor Swift-themed classes. I am not familiar with her. <laughs> Let me, uh, here she is. She's a singer. Oh, songwriter. Taylor yeah, Swift. Yeah. That's uh, right. You've heard of her. You know, she yeah. won some Grammys and things. Yeah. Anyway, the College Conservatory of Music is already offering a class on the pop star called Topics in Popular Music Taylor Swift. And next fall, the College of Arts and Sciences will offer Philosophy Taylor's version. Dr. Melissa Jackert will teach the course and says it will examine Swift's career and lyrics and compare those with classical philosophical themes. Some schools around the country are also offering courses, we've talked about this before, on Swift's business and strategies and, and the economics behind them because she is such a good business person. And Annie, uh, who's going to join us later, was talking about her dad apparently as a, as a very good marketer and business person that works closely with her. So that whole family I just know what they're doing. I think the business classes that some of the other schools yeah. are offering might be even more fascinating yeah. than the, the, the more artistic ones because she is 
not only just in terms of her ability to to make money for herself, right. but the economic engine she is literally for cities, like for entire regions, is unbelievable. And I think there are some classes, some law schools that are actually offering courses in all the legal things that she's gone through. Oh, with. when she re-recorded yes. all of her, her, mm -hmm. her different albums and yeah. everything. Yeah, Taylor's version. And well, we were just talking about uh, Northern Kentucky, their, their tourism boom, right? They're, right. they're back up this year, back to pre-pandemic levels. And one of the things they said was, you know, big events, whatever, Taylor like Swift Taylor coming Swift to town, yeah. probably helped bring a few more people into hotel rooms across the river, which is crazy, just crazy. Well, this is a sign that summer is right around the corner. Kings Island season pass holders will get to hop on rides tomorrow. And parts of Camp Snoopy will already be open to try out. Now that will include Woodstock's Air Rail, Charlie Brown's Rushing Riverlog Ride, the Linus Launcher, and Franklin's Flyers. Now, Snoopy's Soapbox Racers just completed, and you're seeing it right here, a test run yesterday, but it's not quite ready to ride. Kings Island sent us this video. That ride, along with Beagle Scout Racers and Pigpen's Mess Hall, will open late spring. So when that, I that's see... That's my speed. <laughs> people, but people at a certain age, when they see... Look, when it goes up, and then it kind of oh, comes back down yeah. the hill, that up and that back down. They had a ride called the Screaming yep. Demon. Do you remember the Screaming Demon? I do Demon? remember the Screaming Demon. And it literally was just you went down a hill, yep. through a yep. loop, up the other side, and then back down and back to where you started right. again. And that was literally the ride. And, and that reminds me of that. Oh, oh, I start going again, and then you yeah. go back again. Do you remember when the racers had one forward, one backward? Yes, yes. I loved that yeah. because then you could, you know, you're kind of taunting each other as you go. I remember my husband saying that was one that he really loved. Yeah, too. I think yeah. I was looking it up because I wasn't sure how long. Because when it first started, both of them went forward. Oh, really? They switched it up in 1982 to one forward, one backward. Okay. And then in like 2008, they switched it back to both forward what? again. There's talk, there's chat that it had something to do with insurance stuff. Oh. That to have one of them go backwards was, I don't know, okay. to cost more or whatever it was. Well, let us know if you ride it tomorrow. Send us yeah, pictures. For sure. Let us know how it goes. Yeah, Camp Snoopy's going to be fun. Yeah, it is. Well, Cincinnati can add to its list of honors. The Queen City's Smail Riverfront Park is now ranked the best river walk in the country by USA Today readers. Yeah. Yeah, a panel of industry experts start with some nominations, which are cut down by editors and voted on by the public. Cincinnati also clinched three top rank uh, in street art, best botanical garden, and best marathon. I think it says two different things. One, we have great things and stuff around mm -hmm. here. That, that's one. Two, people around here are willing to vote on stuff. Yes. Do, I mean, you know what I mean? Because we, we win that thing because enough people got online yeah. and voted for stuff in Cincinnati, which is pretty cool. We and love that. That river walk, I'm, I'm telling you what, I, you know, sometimes I get down there and go, I go for a jog. Sometimes Callie and I will go down there for a walk. It is spectacular. And it's not just Smale. That's the thing. Smale's number one, but you start in Friendship Park, just east of the boathouse, and you just keep going. Well, think of how cool it's going to be. And I know that um, when they do Oktoberfest, it's not, I don't think they're going to have stuff set up quite down near Smale. I think, I think you're right. I think it's more sort it's of more up by the carousel but and th things that like that. Whole I think. Area yeah. It's just going to be hopping. Easy Hopefully access for nice everybody. Weekend when they oh. move that down on the riverfront. That's going to be really What an neat. awesome weekend yeah. that will be, for yeah. sure. Well, time now is 8.08, looking back on our high school days. Oh, baby. Bob's excited. Let's I'm go, so class of 92. To show you my photo. We're going to chat, what? though, with Local 12's Annie Brown about prom. Was Local 12's Annie Brown born when I went to my prom? Probably not. That, she was probably not that born. That just made my stomach hurt. Mm -hmm. uh, well, we got some prom picks for you. Boy, I was styling. I'm going to tell you what. Give me them risky yeah. business sunglasses. Let's go. Coming up next on Arc Cincinnati. Oh, boy. <laughs> sure, you could stop watching now, but let's be honest. You want to see more, so click some of those links. Or better yet, go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you'll catch more content from Local 12.